Welcome back to Natal B Reefing. This is an update on the 150 liter canister filter reef. Everything's going pretty well. Um, the fish are happy, the corals are happy. Uh, over the last week or so, there's just been an explosion in the coralline algae growth um, in this tank. The, the floor is completely, completely covered in it. Um, the snails are covered in it, the rocks are covered in it. I don't know what it was that all of a sudden made it explode, but it's there. Also, I've got a little bit of what I think is some kind of calerpa growing off this coral. Now, I should probably take it off, but I just want to see what it does. Uh, the other thing that's going on is um, this goniopora in the back, for some reason, has decided it no longer enjoys life and it is shriveling up a lot. I don't know why, because this one right next to it and the one next to that are doing great, but that one isn't. Um, what else has happened is I accidentally bumped this uh, coral off the bottom, so I had to re-glue it down. I've also seen that there are 48 million bristle worms in here, some really big ones underneath here, and another couple of huge ones under there. I also threw in more I'm choking on something. <laughs> biological media in the back. Those were left over in the garage. So now I've got one, two, three, four, five bio blocks in there, plus those two blocks. And in the filter, I've got about 12, maybe a bit more um, bio balls in there. Uh, I cleaned the filter out two days ago. It was a one week since I put it in, and it is much easier to clean. The Fluval Series 2 or whatever it was, the Fluval v2 or something um much 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 easier to clean than the uh the eham also uh this little kind of adjusted the intake so it's much much longer so it can draw it basically forces all the water from the tank that it's going to draw up through the biological media area as well so i've got biological media there going through inside the tank up and out and that is the outflow up there um so i was i wanted it to be there blowing across but it just wouldn't work out that way um so it's up there and what it does now is it blows as the auto feeder drops in a couple of pellets twice a day this ensures that they don't just drop straight down into the corner it sort of blows them around um let's have a quick look from the top everyone's looking pretty happy the clam is nice that clam's also doing quite well if i can zoom in on it quickly yep there we go so top views of the tank, all the corals are happy except the goni. The Leptastria rocks are going crazy and the Island Red Devil is running out of place to encrust. It's looking really, really good. So uh, if you watched all the way to the end, thanks for watching and I'll keep you guys updated on how the whole tank is going.